Okay, so coming back from PNR. Frank Roberts still live as well, so catch up with him if you miss me. Uh, police have just arrived uh, and everyone's just moved their cars out the way. And uh, so. Things will change. Just going to check in with everyone in the lock ons. DJ's extraordinaire up there. How are you feeling? Oh, good, yeah. Yeah, did you get yeah. any sleep at all? I think I've got about half an hour. I think you are the most uncomfortable of all the lock ons. <laughs> I really do. There's no one more uncomfortable than you. There's just the wrong chair. We should have got you more cozy. You doing all right, sweetheart? Anything you need? Sorry, Gavin. Gina, anything you need? I'm fine, thank you. I've right. just been waiting to see Celia from Lancaster. Ah! 13 people on a lock on. We've been hit since about 2.45, they're locked on. Danby, you alive? I'm fine. Do you need anything? No, thank you. Okay. Need anything, sweetheart? I'm fine, thank you. Good stuff. Okay. Thank you for the advice of the parking. No, no Much worries. better. No worries. Yeah, absolutely. It's an absolute winner all round. Morning, gorgeous. How are you doing? Well done, local. Yeah, they've been amazing, haven't they? Julie, good. That's all I'm checking. Good. Need anything? Thank you. No, absolutely fine. Thank you. Okay, um, Yay! Need anything, sweetheart? I'm fine. Good. You Need anything, my love? No. You're okay? Hi, thank you. All good, ladies? All good, man. Look, yeah, you've got a winning lottery ticket and then I'll buy the last one. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Morning, Caroline. Hey, yeah. how you doing? Right. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. See you in a while. All traffic's flowing normally. There's no need for any roads to be sealed off. Our lock-on, as you can see, is clearly behind the cycle lane and there's no cause for any disruption to traffic. So if at any point later they decide to seal the road off, uh, please note that at this time, whatever the hell time it is, um, there is absolutely no cause to close this road because all of ours are tucked safely in behind the, the uh, cycle lane. Just shirt from this view. So all traffic passing normally. This is weeks in the planning. We, um, we've had various meetings on this. Thankfully we've had a video crew following us. So they've covered some of the meetings, done interviews before, the lock-ons. The thing I'm to you about today is that there are 13 local lock-ons, local people, 11 of whom have never done anything like this before, three of whom are councillors. And you know, the media and sometimes the police try to portray this as being people who aren't from this place or that they're outsiders or whatever they call them. And that's just not true. The vast majority of people protecting this area are local people. And so today's all about showing that. There's some lovely chalk art. rope between these two towers is not rope it's steel so they're going to have a hard time because you couldn't get a truck under that and it's steel so it's going to be hard to cut for them and it's attached to both towers the lock-ons today are brought to you courtesy of some of the finest um, people to work with bitumen and pipe 
and barrels and they're good solid lock-ons. We think there are many, many, many hours will be required to remove those. So we think it's a day of no work for Quadrilla. I'm going to sign off now and come back at various points. Thanks for staying with us. Most of you stayed all through the night. As I say, we've, a lot of these people have been here all night. Certainly the lock-on people and the equipment started arriving from 2.15 when we got here. And uh, just to reassure you that each person in the 13-person lock-on is being attended to with welfare. They've got everything they need. We've done the little pack lunches. And... Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's all good in the hood. Catch you later.